Hello everyone, it is Thursday morning at Desert Circuit 5 and I just got to the horse show and today I'm jumping just 1 meter 10 amateurs, so let's go. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become So in the interest of this video not being 10 hours long, I've decided I'm not going to voice over every single round I did. So I'm just going to voice over a few of the rounds. So I didn't voice over my round with Amaril from the Santa Monica Ten Amateurs, but he was very good and we just had two time faults. But here is my voiceover of my round with Wiz. So this was power and speed or two phase. So this first phase, we're just trying to go clear within the time allowed. Wiz is absolutely amazing. Like, look at this horse. He's so much fun. Um, and I don't have too much to say about this round because it was just a really good round. I was actually feeling a little bit off because I hadn't really ridden in a week because I wasn't feeling that good. But right there, I just decided to not sit up for some reason. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but I was feeling a bit off, but then this round was really, really good and Wiz was really great. And I was overall really happy. I mean, he's super adjustable, just super easy. I mean, it feels like, I mean, it looks like an equitation round. Um, so yeah, he, there he just landed in a bit of a cross canner, but I don't really care too much. And I just, you know, continued him, continued him around to the next jump and he was really good. Oh, no, this wasn't, what am I talking about? This wasn't two phase. This wasn't power and speed. This was first run and jump off this day. I don't know what I'm on about. I don't remember what's happening. I don't know. But anyways, here's our first round. He was really, really good. He's amazing. Uh, so yeah, that was the first round. And then here's the jump off. So uh, we weren't going too fast. We were just trying to find a nice jump to jump one and then turn quickly afterwards. So we're just going around. Uh, I did the same turn in the first round, but I found a better distance in the jump off, so that was good. I didn't do a leave out here because I wanted to turn tight afterwards, so I still did the same number of strides here. Here I turned here. Uh, I was told afterwards that I could have turned tighter back on this oxer, but I was kind of scared of this oxer. Uh, but of course he doesn't care and again I was told I could have you know kind of cantered galloped across a little bit more there and turned tighter back to this double But it was pretty good. I felt like this turn was okay. I guess I still could have been tighter um, But I felt like I got a pretty good angle and then my trainer really liked my ride to my last fence. I thought it was okay I felt like I could have balanced him a bit better and not throw my body so much at him But overall he was really good and we ended up second. So I was really happy with that and Wiz is amazing. No surprises there. I've been running on the east, looking for some digging deep. So I finished my 110 rounds today. The horses were both really, really good, and I ended up second on Wiz, which was really awesome. So I've now gone and gotten some lunch, and now uh, I just have a friend going in the meters in a little bit and some other stuff, so we're gonna stay and watch and help out a little bit. Burn all bridges, all I know. I got lost along the way, fell between the cold. Good morning, it's Friday morning and I just got to the show and today I'm jumping the 1 meter 20s on Wiz and the 1 meter 10s on Amadil. I'm jumping the 1 meter 20s on Wiz for the first time so I'm a bit nervous. Um, both of those classes go in the morning so we're gonna get ready and go walk and do the classes and I'll talk to you guys after that. So here's the video of my first 120 meter class with Wiz and my first meter 20 class in the US in like eight years or something. It's been a long time. So I was very nervous, but Wiz is fantastic. So I kind of found the really waiting one to the first jump, which is actually probably better with this horse because he definitely wants to get a little bit hot. Uh, I did a nice sign, but we had the second one down. I'm not exactly sure why. I think I let him shift a little bit left off the ground there. I was also just kind of tense and nervous with my body, so that was definitely affecting him. Here, I don't know what I was doing. Um, I wanted the deep one and then I kind of gave up on it and he was like, okay, I'll fix this, I guess. Uh, but then I got it together for the next jump. And then here I came out trying to get distance. I'm all still stiff with my upper body and kind of sitting up early, but 
yeah. Then I came across the triple bar. I actually liked how he wrote this. I liked how he wrote this too. And then this is power and speed. So then the speed phase starts. So I did the inside term and I was really proud of this and this came up really well and I felt like I wrote it well. So I was really happy. Uh, I kind of was not really speeding here. We just kind of was cantering down to this. Found a bigger one and then was able to box him up for the five, which worked well. And he was wonderful as always. And then again, I was scared of this combination because it's a big oxer in, but I was okay. I found a big one and then he, you know, did his thing and got me out of it. And then here again, I found a really big distance to this one, but I was like, ah, okay. And then I was like, no, I need to get him back for the last line. So I sat down and got him back and then it was really good in the end. So, wow, I survived my first one meter 20 and I didn't die and Wiz is perfect. So that was really, really good. Okay, and then the same day I got off and then got on Amaril and went to go jump the meter tens on him. And he was really good this day. We ended up fifth with a double clear round. This was power and speed as well. But he was also very strong, which is a little bit of a theme this week. So I think we're gonna play around with a couple things next week to see what we can do. But he was really good here, so I figured I'd voice over this round as well, since it's his best placing he's had with me. Uh, he was also jumping really, really high over the oxers, so I was struggling a little bit to stay with him. But we were overall good. Um, he's being a really good boy. He's a really good horse. Uh, here I kind of found a bit of an awkward distance and kind of had to really go to it. So he was thought that was fun. Uh, but I kind of got him back together and then found a distance I liked down to this one. He was very enthusiastic about everything this day. Um, but he was still being a really good boy and he was jumping really, really good. So I can't really fault him. Um, he's just a little bit less experienced than Wiz, especially in the US since he only came here in November. And we're still getting used to him and he's still getting fitter and everything else. And then I think this is where the speed, the speed started just before that line. So I'm, I'm not trying to go necessarily faster on him. I'm just trying to work on my little bit of tighter turns and stuff like that. Although I'm not turning too tight. I'm still trying to give him room to the oxers. I was glad I found a deeper distance there because I was not gonna make that inside turn if I didn't. Uh, I was a bit deep there. I wish I could have get, got him back a little bit better. And I think I should have galloped a little bit more to this last jump instead of holding him so much. But overall, he jumped really, really good. He's a super awesome boy. He's just large. He's 17 one hand, so he's a lot of horse for me to, to wrangle. But look at him. He's so proud of himself. He's such a good boy. So that was really good. And we ended up fifth. So I was really happy with that. Look at him with his little ribbon. Adorable. So I just finished my round today. I did the 120s on Wiz for the first time, which went amazing. We just have one down, but he was so, so, so good. And then we did Amadil in the 110s, and he was amazing. He was jumping super, super good, super high, uh, which means it was hard for me to stay with him, but he was still really, really good. And we ended up fifth in the 110s, which was really awesome. Now I'm just gonna go get some lunch and watch some friends, help out around the show, and that's about it. Good morning, it's currently Saturday morning and I just got to the show. It's pretty windy today, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not showing today, so I'm just here to help out and watch some people go and watch the Grand Prix tonight. So, here we go. Sunday morning and I just got to the show. It's classic day today and my classic walk is going pretty soon, maybe in about just a little bit less than an hour. So I'm gonna head to the bar and get ready and do that. So I'll talk to you guys after my classic rounds.
So I'm not voicing over Amaril's round from this classic. He was good, he was just a bit strong, so we had a few down. But here is Wiz, so here is round one of the classic. And here I was just trying to kind of have a, a normal round. Here I did not like my ride to this jump. Um, I just kind of let him get underneath it and didn't really support him enough. So after that jump I landed and I was like, come on Alex, you can ride better than that, like let's wake up. And then I think I started riding better after that. Uh, so we just kind of stepped down the six and he jumps that so nice and then we come around here to this triple bar and I saw the really deep distance and I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, it's so deep to the triple bar, oh no. And he just popped over it. So I don't know why I was freaking out. And then we found a really nice distance into the triple and he jumps through really nice, like he always does. And then kind of rolling back to this yellow oxer. With this horse, I don't know, it's all just about like keeping the good rhythm, you know, kind of that kind of stuff oh i didn't do this nine very well i could have done that way earlier and way better so yeah that was not the the best um but then yeah coming around here again just trying to find you know good distances out of rhythm and then just adjusting for the lines uh based on how they're walking and riding and uh and then here my trainer told me to go for the time allowed so that's why i kind of jumped the last jump a little bit out of rhythm but we were good and we were clear. And then so here's the jump off. So for the jump off, we start on the triple bar. So I kind of tried to get a little bit of a gallop, but I still wasn't really going that fast. But it was pretty good. Found a good distance, land, turn as steady as I can, and all these things. And I really liked this turn. I felt like we were super on it. He jumped it really good. And I don't know, I landed kind of weird in my saddle there. Um, but then I turned back to here. I liked my ride in there. Here I could have done the five a little bit earlier. We were a bit deep coming out, but he still jumped it good. I could have maybe turned him even sooner there. And then we were coming back to this. He saw the open water and I was like, no, we're not jumping that. We're jumping this at an angle. And he's like, okay, I got it. And then here I just saw the distance and I was like, oh yes. And then I dropped him too much at it. And he had the front rail. And then coming home, that was good. And it was really unfortunate because we were the fastest, but we had four faults. So we ended up seventh. I know this ribbon that's going to come up is eighth, but the results are wrong. We actually ended up seventh uh, or my ribbon was wrong. And we actually ended up seventh, but it was unfortunate because we could have won. We had the time to win, but we just had that rail, but it was still wonderful. And we ended up seventh and it was a great week. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below what you thought. And I can't wait to see you guys all again next week.